morning, happy Monday. Oh my goodness. I am, um, I don't know if I'm tired. I'm probably tired, yeah. But uh, my brain feels a little bit scattered. My hair, my hair is like a good representation of where my brain is at. <laughs> Today, I'm taking half day because my best friend from Edmonton, Veronica, is here. So I want to take a half day to have lunch with her and like hang out with her and stuff. Just a lot going on, but I'll take you with me for the first bit of my day and see where that takes us. Oh, let me put on my gloves. Bless Nojo's heart, she revived some cancer cells last week when she got back and she split them for me. So I'm just gonna take a flask and use that to plate two plates. <laughs> you see, Nojo, Nojo's writing. Ah, they're not as confluent as I thought they would be after a weekend. Guess that's what happens when you split a flask. <laughs> I hope I have enough cells. Like there's something going on with this, these cells. They're not growing as fast as usual. Cause usually after a full weekend, it would be really confluent and a lot more than this. So I'm not sure if I can even plate two plates today. Okay, let's go count it. <laughs> So the thing is, I know that Noju needs these cells more than me. The other flask is probably the same amount. I'm going to message her and ask her because if she needs it, then I'll just give it to her and I'll just revive new cells for next week. Okay, so Noju says she's fine. Okay, I'll, ju I'll, just, I'll just use these cells, but yeah, it's not a lot. I don't think they're a lot. Let's just see. One eternity later. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you ever count cells. We use this hemocytometer thingy mabobber and it has these etches on here that like they're grids and you can see them under the microscope. And I literally spent like 15 minutes trying to find these darn grids. I was like losing my mind because I was like, why can't I see it? <sighs> I got it people, I got it. I think I'll have enough for two plates for sure. I hope Nojut has enough cells. Okay, let's plate these cells finally. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. Hello, happy Tuesday. It is almost three o'clock, quarter to three, and I'm just getting around to treating my cells. I have no idea. Like today, my brain is just, just not functioning very well. So everything is like a tad bit slower. I prepared all my solutions, and so I'm just going to treat the cells that I plated yesterday. I'm testing four drugs. I just want to get a general idea of what concentration is toxic to the cancer cells. So let's just treat those cells and then get out of here. I, I don't know, I'm so tired. I'm so foggy brained. Yeah, let's just, let's just do this. Those are my two plates. And we'll see you in three days, plates. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is 2 p.m. and I spent all morning down in the basement. I finally got time on the UPLC, so I'm gonna go prepare the samples to run them. So let's go. Do you wanna say hi? Oh my god. Not, Hello. not, not, not like this. Why? This is the first time I come on camera and I'm like, Hi! <laughs> this is Tanya, a fellow PhD student in the Hapley lab. The Hapley lab. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What are bye. you doing? <laughs> Why is it bye? All this energy. Give me some energy, no dude. <laughs> Osmosis. That's all I have. <laughs> Osmosis. Hello. I am 
waiting for the column to reach the temperature and I'm so tired oh my god I don't know yesterday like my sleep was interrupted and I had a really bad sleep so today I've just been like a zombie and then on top of that being down in the basement for half a day more than half a day with the mice my energy is just not here this week it just hasn't been a week of energy coming out on the weekends is starting to take a toll on me and I feel a little bit of guilt for wanting to go home early, but I shouldn't, you know? I shouldn't. So I'm just gonna wait for a few of these samples to run and then I'll check out. See you tomorrow. <gasps> Bye. Hello. As you can see, I'm in the cell culture room. I'm just waiting for my solution to warm up so I can add the XTT dye to my plate and then let it incubate for a few hours. Oh, hello microscope. Okay, here's what's happening. I did check on my mice and although the mice, they haven't reached the numerical endpoint yet, like the tumor volume and the body weight, they aren't low enough to be humane endpoint or experimental endpoint yet. The behavior slash like the pile erection, which is what is used to describe like the appearance of the mice's like fur and stuff, indicates that my mice aren't so healthy. So right now they're on supportive care. Like I put them on heat and the animal facility staff will help me with keeping track of them to see if they get any better because I don't want to euthanize them yet if they'll get better. Like it just needs a little bit of supportive care because the tumor growth isn't like growing so if I have to euthanize them and that means my experiment will be done today but the survival curve isn't impressive because we only did one dose okay so here is where my mindset is at before starting this animal study I mentally prepared myself to do this at least twice and last time when I learned that I had to do it the second time I cried <laughs> So now I feel like at least I have grown from there. At least I have set my expectations like lower this time. It's still a little bit eh because up until today uh, with what I have shared with the boss, it seemed like we were good with just one dose and like one time because I have the data that I need. But now he is curious to see if we can extend the survival with multiple dosing because it makes sense. In real life cancer treatment, you don't just give one dose. It's continuous and repeated dosing and that makes sense to try on mice as well. And who knows, like maybe my formulation or my nanoparticle will actually be really good if we give multiple doses, like even better than what it is now but I just don't want to reply to him yet because I know that I'm in the thick of it and I know that I am hitting burnout because it's just been continuous work for like how long now a month or two when did I even start this animal study honestly I don't even remember like all the time just like meshes together so I don't even know where we're at so I'm just really not thrilled about repeating it I did tell myself that like I do need a break and after I finish this animal study I'll take a break like a week or something or two or three or a month or just never <laughs> just kidding like a week or two to just like refresh and gain motivation and come back and fresh and stuff so we'll see how things go maybe miraculously these mice will be fine after just some supportive care and that would be really nice hi pohan you fixed the, the co2 <gasps> yeah oh my god yeah Oh, and so sweet he was coming in to check on me because I asked the group chat when uh, the CO2 is like beeping for the incubator thingy revolver yeah how to change this or like yeah so I, I figured it out I figured it out but can you believe I've been in, in grad school for this long I've never had to change a CO2 tank I'm so lucky like my lab mates are awesome I figured it out anyways I don't know what I was saying I'll be fine I'll be fine we'll see how the, my mice are by the end of the day or after lunch or something we'll go from there this is research it's fine but I do deserve a break I do know that I need a break okay I think my solutions are warm now what I'm doing is I'm adding this extra XTT dye to my plate. I'm gonna incubate it for a few hours and then check them on the plate reader to see the survival curve. And I also have to pass my cells for the weekend. So let's go.
All right, this can go in here for a few hours. Check in on you later. And let's pass these cells. Oh, this is a full flask. Full, full, full. So confluent, look at that. Wow. So confluent that some of them are starting to die. Okay, let's pass this. Oh no, it's beeping again. Oh no. Okay, I didn't put it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is trypsinated. I'm gonna put it in here for a few minutes while I figure this thing out. Oh frick. I think you just tur Was that not high enough when I turned it? Ooh, 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 too much, too much. Are you okay now? Are you fine? Do you have enough CO2? You're good. Are you fine? Oh my goodness. Uh, hello. It is the end of the day. I am so burnt out. I feel like I shouldn't use that word because I know like there's like more serious situations where you're actually like really like legitimately like zero motivation but very low motivation. <sighs> that curve obviously didn't work because it's the first time so I expected that because usually the first time that I make XTT curve so the IC50 curve is just to get a sense of like what concentration I should be using so now I have a better idea so that means obviously I'm going to repeat this. I 100% expected that. I checked on my mice and the heating actually helps so the supportive care actually helps so I don't have to euthanize them today the good thing is that there's still a chance I won't have to repeat this animal study but the bad thing is that I will be here tomorrow I prefer this outcome the calibration curve that I've been running on the UPLC for literally like three weeks now I don't know I think it looks fine but I had like a slight scare with it so we'll see we'll see like there's three more hours left on the run I'm gonna go home and remotely access this. Oh my gosh. I'm really looking forward to my break. But anywho's, I feel like this week was really short because I had no motivation, but we made it. We made it to Friday, the end of the day on Friday. Thank you so much for watching as per usual, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.